Hello escapers, Red7 here and in this video, like usual, we will be talking about Escape from Tarkov. We will be taking a sneak peek at some of the future gear which will be hitting the game very soon, we hope. We will talk briefly about the new trader, we'll review the interview with Nikita, we will be looking at the list with gear and items which has been posted this week on the forum and on social media and some more interesting news. Of course, most of you have probably seen some of this stuff already. What I am doing with my weekly recaps is to put all the info together, talk about it and show it to everyone, criticize the game when needed and start interesting discussions in the comments, which do nothing else but get the community together, gather positive feedback and keep the players informed. So I recommend checking the comments after you watch my videos and if you have questions, keep in mind that I always struggle to come back to you with an answer as fast as I can and if I cannot react quickly because I'm at work for example or something like that, then the guys will help you. They always help me so far so you will not be left without a solution. Let's start by talking about the new trader. The guy's name is Abramian Arshavir Sarkisevich aka Ragman. This guy will provide us mostly equipment and clothing from what the devs revealed so far. It remains to be seen if he also does other stuff like bitcoins and provisions. Although this guy has a Russian name, to me he looks like a Turk or, or an Arab. They are really good at selling and buying stuff. Probably the devs thought about that when they created him. Who knows. In the picture we can see a lot of stuff. I guess not all those things will be available in the game. Next we have this interesting interview made by Unity where the guest is no one other than the COO and project lead Nikita Buyanov. What I found very interesting in this interview is the technical aspect of it. How the idea started and some of the tools the guys use for making the game and for improving the performance. I always ask myself how can the game handle such huge amounts of details and items or loot. Well, it uses a feature called occlusion culling, which hides all the stuff the player's camera cannot see. All the stuff out of your field of view. It renders all that stuff out and this way improves the player's performance. Check the link in the description if you want to know more about this interesting feature. Now on the background you can see the video with some of the new weapons and items added to the game. I will not talk about this stuff anymore, we discussed it in the previous recaps. But we have another video with cool stuff which I will be showing you guys in some moments. Regarding the greed event which took place these last weeks, I have seen a lot of different opinions. It's useless, we don't need shit like this, but some of you guys also liked it. I found it interesting because it was harder to make money and insure your stuff. But what I like the most and I have seen that this feature is still in the game yet is the way scavs are right now. Playing as a scav makes a lot more fun and gives you a lot more chances, real chances to take down PMCs. Scavs are not useless anymore. If you watch my videos devs please keep them like this, we love them. So if the patch doesn't come soon and you don't know what to do, I definitely recommend playing as a scav. Besides spawning with SV-98s or sometimes with AKs or MP MP5s, you have real chances to take down geared players and leave the raids rich. Now let's talk about the list with added items and highlight some of them. There are a lot of changes and new additions, talking about all of them will take a lot of time. So I'm just gonna show them here and not going to go into too much detail. We will still have a look at almost all of them though. This is cool new stuff and if you're a curious person like me, then you will definitely want to know how they look like. So let's begin. I believe that this is the sky mask according to this screenshot from the stash. The infrared balaclava is the one the player wears in this small footage. You can also see it here. In real life this balaclava retains the body heat inside. Could this be a way to mask body heat from the thermal scope maybe? And here we have the famous ghost balaclava which looks very very cool. And some of the hats which you can also see during this footage which runs on the background. The bear cap, USEC, the UX1, the police cap the Emercom cap which I also like a lot 
and also the sword in headphones are also present, a very nice alternative to the actual headphones maybe. From what I've read on their website, they are designed first of all for protecting against loud sounds like gunshots, but they don't cut it off, they compress it. With the help of two microphones, the outside sound is captured and then reproduced inside through some speakers. I'm not gonna mention the glasses here, we will see them in the game. I do like the Shemag a lot, it just looks so cool, cannot wait to wear it in the game. Now let's quickly review the bags, there are three of them. The shoulder bag should be the one you see in the right corner down there and on the back of this guy. The army duffel bag can be seen in this footage, very cool right? And the SAO is right here, we can see it from the side. I provided a better picture of it. The vests, the ANA tactical M2 armor plated vest is this one, very nice looking. It has three class armor plates according to the description. The MK3 rig can be seen right here. This vest has an open back and I am not sure if it has armor on the front side. On the Russian webpage it says it doesn't. The body armor can also be seen in the video. The BNTI Gzel K is this one right here. And the MF is this one. Cannot talk about protection too much, I don't know what they offer, we will have to wait and see. And I can see at least 4 new helmets and some variants of the already in-game ones. We can see the new ZSH-12M helmet. A visor has also been added. The Altin helmet we have shown in the previous recap is also there. We were doubting if the helmet we shown was the Altin or the KB3. Well, it's the Altin helmet with the visor as well. The Sphera helmet is also new. And we can see the UN Force helmet as well and the 6B47 helmet with camouflage. Really cool. And I forgot to mention the cowboy hat as well. Really cool addition, people were so excited to see this in game. We can also see a lot of weapon mods which we will not review right now. We will see them in the game with the addition of the new patch. Also two new cases, very well welcomed, one for ammo and the other one for meds. And at the end, the weapons. We have seen them in the previous recaps, the M1A, the civilian version of the M14, but we will get the military version, the MK as well. The Remington pump action shotgun and the APS slash APB pistol. According to Wiki, the APB is a version of the AP, APS pistol, but optimized for silent operations. So we basically have the same pistol, but with two different variants or functions. Kind of like the Kedder and his variants, I guess. Then we have the AKS-74N, a variant of the original AK-74, which has a triangular folding buttstock, and which you can see right here and the AKM-SN, a derived model from the AKMS, which adds the possibility to add side scopes with that dovetail or rail system. I don't know the exact name right now. And we're gonna wrap this video up with something related to the hideout. According to the Facebook dev, it will come with OBT, so it has not been forgotten, just postponed. Also guys, the whole video with the new cool items will be at the end of this video without cuts. Enjoy! That was it for this video guys, I cannot wait to see all the stuff in the game and start from scratch all over again. Maybe by the time you watch the video, the patch will be already released. If you want to know more about manual reloading for example, then check my previous recaps. I calculate there how much time one needs to reload a mag. It takes around 26 seconds to reload a 30 round mag. Give it a check and also like the video if you found it useful and why not patron me on Patreon if you want to help me out a bit. Thank you for the view and for the eventual feedback, patrons. Thank you for the awesome support so far and I will see you guys in the next video. Red7 out, peace! Oh, I forgot to mention that gaming could be addictive so keep it under control and pause the game from time to time and do some real life with your mates or with your family. They are very important as well. Peace!
Production. Production. Production.